If you're looking for the fastest way to make money as an affiliate marketer, then watch this video. We're gonna talk about how I've made over $23,000 with just one keyword using Google search ads as an affiliate marketer. I'm gonna show you the metrics you need to understand if you wanna have success as an affiliate marketer, all the things you need to consider mathematically to know if it is possible for you to make money with affiliate marketing and Google search ads. I'm gonna show you inside my account and an example of a keyword that's made over $23,000 so far. I'm gonna show you that it is possible if you know the math. So let's get into it now, let's go into my computer and let's talk about the things you need to consider before running any campaigns as an affiliate marketer on Google ads, okay? So here's inside my account, I've showed this already recently. Uh, I've, I've crossed the $6 million in ad spend and I thought it would be interesting to do a series of Google ads videos over the course of the next few weeks because there's a lot of success to be had on Google ads, especially since Facebook is really just banning everybody and especially affiliates. TikTok's getting really tough with their rules. Google has some ways that you can get around the rules or you can at least follow the rules and make some decent profits as an affiliate marketer. All of that is covered in my 30 day challenge, which is in the link in the description below. Make sure you check out that link down below because there is a ton of information there. It shows examples of how to create the best landing pages, how to find the best keywords, how to find the best offers, setting up conversion tracking, everything you need to know to run successful affiliate marketing campaigns on Google search ads. But let's get into this video now and I'm gonna show you an example and what we need to consider when we're picking offers. So here's some keywords that are running right now inside my account. You can see here that uh, one of them here, uh, all of these keywords are in fact profitable. So next, here's a keyword. It's spent roughly $81,000 and for a conversion value of 105,000, that brings us to about $23,000 in profit with just one keyword. That is the possibility of running Google search ads. I would say it's probably one of the easiest ways for affiliates to get targeted traffic because you know what people are searching for, you know what their intent is, and you can start filling in the gaps for these people and giving them information they need to make the decision they need to make before they buy something or they convert into a lead. So what types of offers would I recommend as an affiliate marketer? I always recommend we that you run CPA affiliate offers. And these types of offers can be found on places like Max Bounty, there's Max Web, that's another place, there's Perform CB. There's a whole slew of CPA affiliate networks. Just search the term CPA affiliate networks in Google and you'll probably get hundreds of results. So basically any type of offer inside these networks typically converts really well compared to like ClickBank, for example. ClickBank I find has a very terrible conversion rate, especially for cold traffic. Cold traffic is covered in our course down below in the link, but we talk about cold traffic, warm traffic, and hot traffic, and you can really increase your odds of success if you start out focusing on the warm and hot traffic. And it's really easy to find that when you use search ads because you can basically find keywords that people are searching for and they're already hot. So what I recommend is finding offers that have a decent earnings per click or a decent conversion rate, usually 5% or more. I'm gonna show you an example here inside my CPV Lab account. This is some data from an offer currently running. And the first number you need to understand is the offer conversion rate. And as you can see here, this one is 7.82%. So you're looking for offers that convert like this and pay out usually over $30 on Google search ads. If you're gonna try and run campaigns that are only paying you a dollar or $2, you're not gonna make any money because as you can see here, over $6 million in spend and my average cost per click is 95 cents. So mathematically speaking, if you, if you tried to send two clicks to an offer that pays you $2, you have to hope that one of them converts or else you're not gonna make any money. And that's just nearly impossible. So make sure you pick offers that pay out decent amounts, like over $30. So stuff like $48 per lead here, 75, 75, all these types of offers. But you also need to be careful that you're not breaking the rules. And a lot of these CPA offers do break the rules. So be sure you do pick the right offers and that you check the rules of Google first. The next number we need to focus on is our landing page click-through rates. If you're running affiliate offers on Google search ads, 
you must use a landing page. I am constantly testing landing pages for every campaign I'm running. I always have at least two landing pages running. For example, you can see here I'm running two landing pages right now. One of them is converting at 3.91%, the other one only at 1.88%. So let's look at the formula now for when you're trying to decide how you will begin your campaigns. A lot of people will avoid the math. So I wanted to show you the formula here that I usually use to figure out if I'm gonna even test an offer, and then I start to tweak and adjust things accordingly based on what's happening in my tests. So here's an example. Let's say I get a thousand clicks on my ad. So that's a good number to, to range to that. And the average cost per click is $1 per click. So basically I'll be spending about a thousand dollars. Now I have to run a landing page. There's no question about it. If you try and direct link to affiliate offers, you will likely get banned from Google search ads. So the landing page click through rate is in fact a very important metric that you need to be monitoring and you need to try and adjust this as you build out your campaign. We'll talk about it here in a second. The clicks to offer is basically 250 because 25% of the people from your ad are clicking through to the offer. Now, if the offer has a 5% conversion rate and you're getting paid $30 per conversion, you only make $375, you're going to lose $625 with this math. A lot of people don't know this formula, they don't look at it, they don't care, they just run a test and hope everything works. What you need to understand is that all of these things are things you can control when you set up a search ads campaign. For example, the cost per click is something you can fix by having better click-through rates on your ads. So for example, coming back here, the cost per click here is about $1.49 for this keyword. But in fact, I could probably get it lower if I could bring my ad relevance higher. As you can see, my ad relevance is below average, so I should be testing different ads to bring that cost per click down. A higher click-through rate would also result in a better cost per click, so we do have ability to adjust our ads and that's why you should always be testing ads because it can bring your cost per click down and essentially this could change your formula so if i could get my click down to say 0.5 you can see that the profit margin now gets closer to where i want to be all of these numbers changed can in fact bring you closer to profitability so let's put that back to a dollar and let's say now I have control over my landing page click-through rate because I am testing my landing pages constantly. If I test two landing pages and I get one that has, say, a 40% click-through rate, like we have over here, in this example, we have a 45% click-through rate, then we can probably bring this campaign into profitability. So how do you do that? You obviously test different headlines, you test different images, you test different calls to action, all of those things can drastically increase your landing page click-through rates. So let's now put this landing page click-through rate to a 45% and see what happens to our formula. We've brought it closer to profitability. Now let's say we can get our offer at a better conversion rate or a higher payout. A lot of affiliates don't realize this, but when you go to a CPA affiliate network, the payout you're getting is usually the lowest payout possible. And the only way you're gonna be able to increase your offer payout is by asking or sending traffic and saying, hey, now that I'm sending traffic, can you please give me a higher payout? Most of the time, you're going to get at least 10 to 15% higher payout on your offers as long as you ask. And so in some cases, these $30 payouts can easily turn into 37.50. So let's put that right there, 37.50. And now that you know these things, you can probably bring this closer to profitability just by increasing your landing page click-through rate, getting your cost per click down a little bit, and increasing your offer payout. Now, the offer conversion rate, I'm using a, a conservative 5%, especially for CPA affiliate offers. Many of these CPA offers, like I said, convert between 5 and 10%. So if you're gonna find offers, make sure you find some that are converting in this range. The 7.8, the six, you know, the five to 10% range is not impossible for CPA affiliate offers. And typically you just need to start testing different offers because if we added in the 7.82% here as our conversion rate, this will likely bring us into profitability. And there we go. 
that now is profitable on a thousand clicks to the ad. At a dollar per click, this is how you figure out the math behind your offers, how you can start planning and thinking of all the things you can control to get this into profitability, okay? So remember, you wanna make sure you're getting good ads, you wanna test ads constantly, and to drop your cost per click, you wanna have ads that are relevant to the keyword you've chosen. Obviously, picking the best keywords is extremely important here. We have a tool that we use, and I'm gonna show you that inside the 30-day challenge, so click that link in the description below, and you can find the best keywords, the hottest keywords that you can start spending money on that have the potential to earn, like I showed, over $20,000 on just one keyword. Now to increase your landing page click-through rate, you wanna make sure you're constantly testing landing pages, testing your headlines, your images, your calls to action, your copy. We use Jasper AI. There's 10,000 free credits down in the description for Jasper. It is an automated tool to write copy for us. You can use that to increase your landing page click-through rates. And in turn, you don't have to constantly be trying to, to write and be creative. You can use this automated tool to write your copy for you. The offer conversion rate will highly depend on, you know, testing different offers. Go to different networks, try it on different networks, or even work directly with the advertiser. Sometimes that results in a better conversion rate because you're not using multiple tracking systems. You're going direct to the source so you can increase your conversion rate. That way, that is something you can definitely improve. The offer payout, remember to always ask for a better payout because this will get you this number higher and all of these little changes these little tweaks is what brings you from losing money to making a whole lot of money with affiliate marketing hopefully this video has helped you understand the math behind google search ads as an affiliate marketer or any traffic source as an affiliate marketer you really need to understand your metrics hopefully you enjoyed that and if you did please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like my videos and we'll see you in the next video thanks